With the petrol strike well into its second week and news of some petrol stations running dry, it remains unclear when Workers' Union Sapao and the National Employees Association will agree to a wage increase deal. Motorists have been urged to keep their petrol tanks full as uncertainty of availability at garages increases every day. One Gauteng station owner told Eyewitness News about how the petrol strike is affecting his business. Because this petrol strike has affected us very negatively in the sense that um, our staff are unable to work full hours. Firstly, because we don't have stock and without having any fuel on hand, we can't, we can't afford to pay them. So they have to go home working less hours. So for them, it's very difficult as well. And then in the sense that uh, there's not many uh, filling stations out there that have fuel as well. So uh, daily sales in excess of six to 7,000 liters a day, uh, that's the sales that you normally do, we are unable to supply. The strike is also having a knock-on effect on convenience stores at fuel stations. The shop, the convenience store is dependent on, uh, on sales from the fuel. I mean, people come through to the filling station and obviously they go into the shop to buy their, their, their daily needs. But without fuel, obviously, they're not coming here, so they don't even need to come to the business. And the uh, business has dropped uh, drastically. Petrol attendants say the strike is affecting their families as the no-work, no-pay rule has compromised income. Khotato Mokhali, Eyewitness News.